Staying in step or falling behind? Understanding behind the times. Hello, language enthusiasts. Today, we'll dive into a fascinating English phrase, behind the times. This idiom isn't just about clocks or calendars. It's a colorful way to describe how we relate to our ever-changing world. Whether you're a language learner or a fluent speaker looking to polish your idiomatic expressions, this video is for you. At its core, behind the times, describes someone or something that is outdated or not keeping up with current trends or norms. It's like watching a movie on a VHS tape when everyone else is streaming in 4K. This phrase often carries a slight nuance of disapproval, suggesting that being up to date is preferable. While its exact origin is a bit murky, Behind the Times is believed to have emerged from the rapid changes during the Industrial Revolution. As society and technology evolved quickly, it became more noticeable when someone wasn't keeping pace with the new ways. This phrase captures that sense of lagging behind the current state of things. Let's see how, behind the times, fits into everyday conversation. 1. Technological context. My grandfather still uses a flip phone. He's a bit behind the times when it comes to technology. 2. Fashion context. Bell-bottom jeans were popular in the 70s, but wearing them now might be considered behind the times. 3. Business context. Companies that ignore online marketing are behind the times and risk losing customers. Understanding synonyms can broaden your language skills. Here are a few related to behind the times. Outdated, old-fashioned, antiquated. Remember, while these words are similar, the exact context can affect which one is most appropriate to use. Thank you for joining us on this linguistic journey. Behind the times is more than just a phrase. It's a window into how language encapsulates change, history, and societal norms. We hope this video helps you feel a bit more in tune with English idioms and expressions. Until next time, keep learning and stay curious.